Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. As you can see, the climate's a little different than the last time we did our 3 to 1 video. Uh, this is going to be kind of a follow up to that. The first video was a 3 to 1 or a Z rig. This one's going to be a 4 to 1 or a piggyback 4 to 1. It's basically two 2 to 1s combined to create a 4 to 1. Uh, the benefits of this is say you got a 100 pound load, same with any pulley, uh, you just divide the load into fours. If it's a 4 to 1, if it's a 5 to 1, 100 pound load divided by 4 you're pulling up 25 pounds of a 100 pound load. The disadvantage is you need to pull that load four times as far as you would if you just pulled the straight weight. So um, that's basically a sum up of a, uh, how a pulley operates. So let's get back to this one here. This one's, uh, like I said, a, uh, two two to ones combined to create a four to one. Uh, we need to start with a good anchor. This is a wrap three pull two. The reason why I like this and most people use it uh, for heavy lifting is just because the weakest part of your webbing or your rope is the knot. And the benefits of this is just the uh, thickness and the friction from the tree leaves the knot loose. As you put force, the knot's still loose. So it's getting full strength of the webbing itself. Let me hop over here. This is a 100 foot piece of rope. I kind of laid it out to make it a little easier for this video. Uh, you can do this, you can split it down the middle. Uh, find the two ends and begin from there or you can even use a quarter quarter of the rope depending on how big you want to make this pulley system uh, we got two it two, uh, maybe a quarter of the length of rope I'm just gonna form a figure eight with both lines here both ropes and we're gonna hard tie this to the tree good way to figure out pulleys is if you're hard tied to the load it's an odd number if you're hard tied to the anchor it's going to be an even number. So if we flip this around, it may be something different, even if we had the same exact layout. But we're going to hard tie this here to the to the pulley or to the uh, anchor. My nose is running so bad. Oh. Now basically we got two end pieces, and we're hard tied to the tree. The rest of this rope we don't even need. A good way to remember this is two candy canes that's what always made it easy for me to remember and if you lay this out you can see you can see how it works if we put a pulley here with a load over there this would be a two to one now we're going to create another two to one here's another two to one as we pull this we'd have a pulley here our load down there that would be a two to one so we're gonna we're gonna combine these two to create one pulley. We gotta connect this pulley to this pulley. We need a figure eight or something for a carabiner to bite onto. And I am at a little disadvantage here. I only have one pulley and we would need two to make this fully operate right. It's still gonna work, but it's gonna create more friction than we want, so. So here's one pulley. Now we need to connect this one to this one. This is where the second pulley would come in. We would put another pulley here and do the same setup as this one. I don't have a second pulley, it's in my other bag and my vehicle's not here. So we're just gonna use this carabiner for demonstration. And the reason why you don't want to use this is this carabiner is actually going to create friction, which we don't want, because it's going to make the load actually heavier than, it won't be as heavy as it typically is, but it's not going to be the full benefit of a pulley. So now if you look at this, you can see what we got. Come over here, walk around so we can see. So we got a we got our uh, our anchor hard tied to the tree. We got our double ends or two candy canes as I like to call them, just easy to remember. Now we got a two to one on the outside, and we got a two to one on the inside. When they're combined together, we're actually it's actually a four to one. What we're gonna do over here 
as we're going to connect this, uh, this will be our load, or for demonstration purposes at least. And what we can do just on uh, the end piece here is just put a an overhand or a figure eight or whatever you want to do, just in case the prusik slipped, it's got something to grab onto, and the load won't fall off the bank. The second one here, we got to create a rope grab. If you got a Gibbs or something like that, that'll work. I don't have that, so I'm using a Prusik. This is just uh, double barrel knots. As you separate it, the knot gets tighter, 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 and it cinches on itself, and it creates a loop. This is a wrap three Prusik. One, two, three. Lift it up on an angle to get the knot out of the way. That way the carabiner doesn't sit on it. And then we're just going to straighten this out a little bit. You want all these ropes laying flat here because it's creating friction with that on that rope. And they're not working with me very well. Creates a smiley face with the tongue sticking out. That way you know you did it right. And the benefits of this is this is a rope grab. Simple, easy. Uh, there's multiple ways to do this. This is just the one we use. And you can easily slide it up or down, whatever you want to do. But when you get some load on it, it grabs in any direction. But you can very easily, two fingers, just slide it nice and easy. So what we're going to do with this is connect this to this carabiner. Now this is going to be our rope grab. This knot here is just, uh, you don't need to do this. This is just in case the Prusik slipped. We're not going to lose our load over because the Prusik is going to uh, get hung up on that. And now we need another Prusik over here. Flip this over. Now we need something to capture the load. The load's going to be over the bank, whether a person, a vehicle. Uh, I mean, you could, this could, the possibilities for a pulley system are endless. And what we got to do is capture the load. As we pull this up the hill, and our load's coming up the hill, and we need to let go because we ran out of room and we got to reset this system, we don't want to lose our load back down the hill. Easy way to tell what rope to put your second rope grab on is which rope is moving. If you just grab the end here and pull it, you can see which rope is going to move. So we know this rope here is obviously the one moving. And this is going to capture the load from falling back down the bank. This is going to be the same thing, wrap three, pull two. Anything with rescue work, you want to double these pulleys up and we would do a few other things. This is a, just a basic setup. This would be for personal use or something. Now we can clip this right into this carabiner. And you would lock everything off. If there was a pulley here, these pulleys are actually made to so that the pulley doesn't get or so the prusik doesn't get hung up in it. So as you pull it up, the pulley system will butt up against it and it'll allow the rope to run through the pulley without the knot getting snagged up. I don't have a pulley here, but typically that's the way we would do it. Now I just need, uh, let me grab this camera and move it over here. And then I'm gonna have Nikki grab the load. Nikki, grab this end over here, like you did last time. Pull it tight. Now we can see here, it's kind of getting confusing a little bit. We have our prusik here, which is grabbing this rope. This rope is our load. It's going over the bank. This knot here, um, is, you can use an overhand knot. It's just in case this prusik slipped, this knot is going to get snagged up into this. And then here, let me see this camera. So 
So we got our, our prusik on the end of the rope. That's our rope grab, and that's catching the load that she's pulling. Over here we got one two to one. And then over here, we got a second two to one. When they work in conjunction, it creates a four to one. And the only thing we're missing is a pulley here. We would want two pulleys. This carabiner is going to create way more friction than, than we want. So we got our loads down over the bank. Now let's see how this operates. You got weight on it, Nikki? I'm going to pull this. Let me get up a little closer. I'm going to pull this up. And you can see the uh, both prussics are working. This one here is letting the rope slide through. And now I need to reset so I can, let, I can release. Now my rope here is loose. The prussic captured the load from going down over the bank. And, uh, and we're set. So that's basically the, uh, a quick setup for a, a four to one piggyback system. Once again, wrap three, pull two, or any anchor you prefer. Carabiner, and we found the center point or close to it on a 100 foot length of rope. You can use this with any length of rope. Our two end pieces are down here we're not even using that and then here we got our two candy canes or two two to ones is a better way we got Nikki over here holding the load and that is a four to one if you guys have any questions please ask thanks for hanging with me today hopefully somebody found this uh, a little bit informative and uh, any questions uh, leave them in the comment box I'll get back to you all right thanks a lot